Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about quadratic diffusion. Diffusion in general causes a lot of difficulty for people, and I get that because there's a lot of uh, terms and explanations in the literature that just really aren't valid at all. And the first thing that we can do to help us with understanding is define the difference between diffusion and sound redirection. Sound redirection, if we have a surface and we strike the surface with sound, and it reflects back angle of incidence equals angle of refraction. Remember that from your physics 101 course? <laughs> Most don't. But anyway, the bottom line here is we have to differentiate between diffusion and just redirecting sound energy. Uh, my favorite is the foam diffuser. That's a great one. You know, how can a sound absorbing device act as a diffuser? And when you see the characteristics and the requirements of a really diffuse sound field in a room, you're going to laugh with me on that one too. So that's a situation where, you know, companies take the word diffusion and they apply it to a product that really isn't a diffuser. And if you don't do your homework and you're ignorant about the processes of diffusion, you'll buy it and not be happy. You'll really just have a piece of foam that may or may not <laughs> absorb at the rate and level you need. So be really careful out there. True diffusion. Let's use some real scientific stuff here it has five requirements so if we're going to have a truly sound diffused field within our room and there's three vertical this one this one and this one the angled one so if we're going to do truly diffuse sound field in our room we have some criteria that we have to meet first no frequency or uh, frequency or spatial irregularities in our response curve so we, we want nice, smooth response. We don't want this. We want this, okay? No frequency or spatial irregularities. No beats in the decay characteristics, so none of this. We don't want this, 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 this. We want nice, smooth returns. That all can be measured, okay? So we want no beats in the decay characteristics, and we want the decay to be exponentially smooth, meaning if... We have a little bit of rise here and a, and a fall here, then our decay over time has to be smooth. Okay? And here's a very critical one. And this is why I always harp on where to put treatment. The decay must be the same in all room positions. So we can't have one part of the room with a decay rate and level X and another part X2. So we have to have it the same in all places. Here's another thing people overlook. Reverb must be the same in all locations. So we have these five criteria that must be met for diffusion to occur. If you don't have these five, you don't have true defer, diffuse sound field in your room. So the only diffusion type that will give you and meet these five criteria is quadratic. It's just the way it is. That's all we have right now. So quadratic is the form that we use. And quadratic comes in two types, one dimensional and two dimensions. Now, if we look at how they operate, I think we can help with these terms. So if we take, we've all seen verti vertical diffusers. We sell them ourselves. They're positioned like that. That's vertically, okay? And then we, see a horizontal diffuser is positioned like this so this is horizontal this is vertical so the diffused part of the sound field in a vertical array is this way in the horizontal domain and in a vertical a horizontally positioned diffuser it's this way in the vertical domain so it's con contraindicated based on position and you can use both in a room, depending on your usage. So there's where the, the horizontal and the vertical come in, and that's where we get, can get two dimensions of diffusion on the same surface. Depends on usage, what you're trying to do. Depends on distance from the listener. Depends on distance from the source. Depends on size and volume of the room. Depends on pressure level. Depends, 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 depends. Many variables, okay? I've been doing this for 30 years with quadratic. I've strictly focused on quadratic, and you can see the results of that on our website in my designs. 
So if you have any questions about quadratic, it's not easy to grasp. Definitely not uh, something that you can do on your own without a little guidance. You can build the units on your own, and we offer you plans to do that. But you've got to have a technology that meets those five criteria. All right? Hope this helps. Quadratic diffusion, great technology. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. A room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book an appointment with us, but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will all actually answer your questions and, and comments, so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So once again, thank you for your support.